and of Title 18, the United States Code prohibits genocide, whether committed in time of war, in time of peace, or in time of war. Genocide is defined in 1091 and includes Section 1091 of Title 18, United States Code prohibits genocide, whether committed in time of peace or in time of war. Genocide is defined in 1091 and includes violent acts which, with the specific intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. There is federal jurisdiction if um, the offense is committed within the United States. There is also federal extraterritorial jurisdiction when the offender is a national of the United States, which we are. Um, in addition to that fact, you guys can down, can't, you can email us here for this, but you can go online and Google these laws as well too, right? <clears throat> the offense is punishable by a range of imprisonment up to a life term of the death penalty, depending upon the circumstances of the crime and the resulting injury, if any. Title 18 U.S.C. Section 242, whoever under color of law and whoever under any color of any, whoever under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. And if bodily injury results from the acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include the use or attempted use or threatened use of a dangerous weapon, explosives or fire, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. And if death results from the acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to commit, aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to kill, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years or for life or both, or may be sentenced to death. 18 U.S. Code 241 Conspiracy Against Rights. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district in the free ex exercise of enjoyment or of any right or privilege secured to him by the Constitution of laws of the United States or because of his having so exercised the same, or if two or more persons go in disguise on the highway that those are agents in blue wearing costumes, claiming to be police, giving out citations and tickets, and um, these individuals here claiming to be neighbors, going at nighttime on people's private properties, trespassing and killing out their livestock or um, damaging their trees, their fruit trees or coconut trees or what have you, or on the premises, on people's private properties, pre premises or an, of another, with intent to prevent or hinder his free exercise of enjoyment of any right so we can enjoy our private domicile here due to this um, interference or privilege so secured, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both or if death results, the killing of our animals from the acts committed in violation of this section or if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravate, aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to commit, aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to kill, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years for life or both, or may be sentenced to death. Therefore, attention all international authorities, thank you for sharing this with me this night. I require you now to go and charge Colin Coombs, Miss Johnson, and Cash. Now, attention, Office of International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, <clears throat> the United States Federal Trade Commission, Clearinghouse Department, also the um, Antitrust Department, Jay Clayton doing business as Securities and Exchange Commissioner Head, also Joseph Odding doing business as a head for the Control of Currency, also Federal Bureau Investigations Heads and the Fraud Department Heads, 
Louis DeJoy doing business as Postmaster General Head, and Joseph Odding doing business as the head for the Control of Currency, as well as all Interpol, the Fraud Department, and the FBI agents. I come to you in good faith in one's proper person as living flesh and blood, sentient being, sorry, Juris, American Indian, Alolio Title Morsh, American National, UCC 1-308, holding the highest diplomatic office, AA222141, and one's private number, 449-59344. Go now quickly and have all the agents rounded up for treason, fraud, and genocide this night who have interfered with all of us globally, right? Who has, in fact, been doing genocide, conspiracy, and deprivation on all of us globally with these said masks and the fact that we can't go in the grocery stores and that without being interrogated in our health conditions and then being subjected to thermometers and bleach that we may be allergic to. <clears throat> so go now and have them run it up this night. Use this law, use the Insurrection Act, right? For war crimes against humanity, peonage, racketeering, fraud, treason, state land theft. Have the blacks, so-called blacks, claim their nationality, you guys. Go to rvbaypublications.com. If you're more than American Indians, and correct your status and claim your birthright. Do that for us now and send us back all the profits generated from these insurances and then protect the people who are disabled on the roadway. The homeless people, the people with Down syndrome, the blind people, the deaf people who do not understand that the children, their children with Down syndrome, their children that have special needs because the parents and grandparents are also special needs, they don't understand. So go and protect them now, man, so they can take off the mask. We'll continue to do our part as we see them and uh, try to um, get them to take it off, but yeah. Go in now and protect them now and send us the proper foods that we need here, whether it's rye breads or rye flours or starters. We can make our own stuff in the areas that you know are lacking the proper foods and stuff that are subjected to white flours and white this and all the crap that is not alkaline for our systems. And we're having difficulty because it's deprivation, right? We need proper foods and stuff to function. Those of us, especially who are allergic to this other stuff that we used to order in certain things that we can no longer do that with the shutdowns and things. So stop the shutdowns, stop the lockdowns, open up back the posts, get our stuff sent to us immediately this night so we can start um, living our lives, right? And to all the other people around the globe um, as well who are also in the very same situation, get them all the stuff that they need this night and round up all the profits generated from this corruption in this scandemic and... Um, yeah, send us all the profits generated from all of it immediately. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. By Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alfred L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Alolu Title Morsh, American National, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased organ harvester's husband and myself. Also round up all the dogs next door, the, do the all those, yeah, those dogs that you've banned in Canaanite land, Canada, living next door that are roaming the streets and the neighbors here tell them to lock their gates because they're affecting our livestock. Go now and run up all those dogs this night so we can live in peace, right? And even the, you don't have to kill the dogs because the dogs listened to us yesterday. When we talked to the dogs, they went back inside and did what they had to do. sat down and they were good. So you don't have to just round them up because they're not being treated properly and it's um, detrimental to the children on this in this neighborhood. As you know, those dogs were rounded up in Canada. I don't know why they're still here. All right, so deal with that now. Thank you in advance for that. By Noble Honorable Angie Alina D. Alfred L. Rubenai Tribe Chief, American Indian. And then if he owes the people funds that they're cussing him out for or he owes them stuff, have him give back the people their stuff because they're standing out front cussing them off and they won't come outside, as you saw yesterday, right? So have them give back the people their stuff which is what they've always been doing, stealing the people's things or getting the people's labor and then not paying them. Have, it, have them sort out that man immediately. All right, all right, deal with that now. Thank you. And give Union what's owed to him. He was owed 4000 They ended up giving him 2000 for what I think was probably a five or $6,000 day's worth of slavery, right? Have them pay him the rest. It doesn't matter that we gave, gave him um, the notes and stuff because he works for us as well too. The fact of the matter is make sure that he gets what he's supposed to get as well, too. <laughs> Thank you in advance for that. By Noble Honorable Angie Alina D. Alfred L. Rubenai Tribe Chief, American Indian, Alolu Talamorsh, American National, UCC 
308 without recourse all rights reserved i stand by the book of ruth by my deceased organ harvest husband jackson and myself thank you to the certain someone for sending this to me yesterday i want to put a hedge of protection around all that is good globally donald trump donald trump donald trump and all that is not so good because they are having a meltdown man they're doing some crazy ass things and it's like really you guys it's just backfiring and blowing up in their faces and we're trying our best to educate everybody so they know the constitution and the laws that surround and the bible do unto others as you would have others do unto you it is the law it's matthew 7 12 harm no man and let no man harm you put god first and all good things will come after deal with it now thank you to the powers that be and for the person who wrote to me in the comment section that said yep it's time for your view count to come up on this one yes it is all right so thank you to yeah all the powers that be our um what is it the subscribers are now at seven thousand on this channel so thank you to all the seven thousand subscribers you guys subscribe to this channel noble l and the um, new channel noble l the second for more like share subscribe you guys have yourself a great day